good. Obviously, summer's here and from here, so it's always nice coming home and seeing family and friends. How's it, this the challenge of the season quite established when you're not? Yeah, obviously, it's beginning of the year. You kind of set goals for yourself in the summer and what you want to work on when you come to the season. And being hurt right away wasn't ideal, but um, it's part of the business. I've been fortunate enough to be fairly healthy throughout my career, so uh, facing some adversity is never a bad thing. The last one to touch. I mean, obviously this week with all the rumors for everybody, obviously all the players. How tough is it this time of year for you guys? Your name's being floated out there and you see it on social media. Well, we're not in Vancouver market, so we don't hear it nearly as much, but uh, it's pretty easy. Um, you just touched on it. Like I said, I was hurt at the beginning of the year, so my focus has always been trying to get healthy and just try to play as best I can when I'm back in the lineup. So that's been occupying my mind, and I haven't really thought anything differently. This is a special place, though. Were you special as a Yeah, it's exciting. Um, obviously, growing up, going to games here and having tons of memories. So um, it'll be a bit different, obviously a little bit nervous, but I'm excited for the challenge. Are you a level 300 guy? Yeah, well, I don't know the section, but I think I've told you before, your first row upper deck, we used to put like our pop and popcorn on the railing there. They tell you not to, but well, my dad didn't really listen. <laughs> Best memory, from uh, best memory from playing here? I don't know, probably just the the guys and the people that you meet around the organization and, you know, how the city treats you as a player. Everybody's so supportive, whether there's highs or lows, they always have got your back. Well, guys, you played with a lot of people who kind of looked after you. How, how special is Trevor shepherding you along in your position? Yeah, he was obviously really important my first year um he was somebody that was in my quarter kind of going to bat for me and um someone i had a lot of respect for and a man that's super intelligent obviously in the game of hockey so you kind of listen to what he said and um he's somebody that i wish i stayed in contact with but i haven't you can get in a comfort zone when you play professionally in the same town like what would you prefer you took the yard at but also perhaps some other yeah, just different opportunity, different experience, um, especially coming from Vancouver is the only organization I played for. So you don't really know what's different around the league and um, just present different options to you and um, you take it as you go. Uh, I think you try to make the most of every situation you're in. Um, I don't know. That's tough. Like, obviously, it was an experience to play in the playoffs at the same time. That was right when I lost my my dad. So it was tough being kind of locked up there. But um, like I said, you just try to make the most of every opportunity. And that was kind of one of those moments where you look around the league and there's some guys that will never even get to play in the playoffs throughout their whole career. And there's some guys that never missed the playoffs. So for me, I just tried to embrace that opportunity to play in the playoffs for the first time. At the end of the season, some guys want to keep playing, some don't. But then you get the long over the next season. Yeah. Yeah, it's obviously really cool. Um, anytime you can win a medal, you know, representing your country is pretty special. So um, I've been fortunate enough in my career, maybe not at the pro level, but going back to college and juniors to be on successful teams. So it was nice to get a taste of being successful again. I did. I had lunch with them though yesterday. You had wrist surgery. He had it in college. Did you guys talk anything about that when you were going through your rehab? And no, he's an idiot. So, I... <laughs> yeah, we talk every day, FaceTime every week. Um, it's not a secret. We're really, really good friends. And he comes out here to spend time with me. I go to Minnesota to see him. So, uh, more, more college past experiences, kind of reliving the national championship uh, called the good old days. But, um, no, he's just a good friend. Obviously, talk about his dad and my dad and you know, the challenges we face with that. And uh, he's just a really good human. At breakfast club, yeah. No, I know where it is, though. You had time, would you go? I still go. <laughs> yeah. Um, have you thought much about the future? I mean, you turn another year next month. Is, are you open to whatever's out there? Or, or, and money's a big deal as well. Have you thought much about this? Thing? No, like I said, I was 
I got hurt at the beginning of the year after working out all summer and you know that's mentally and physically it's a grind it's tough being away from the team and being on a separate schedule not traveling so I've just been focused on trying to get healthy and when I got healthy just trying to make sure that my game was where I wanted it and make sure it's at the highest level possible to make sure I can play no it happened in practice the following day yeah. Couldn't tell you, man. It okay. just, just happened. It, it felt, you know, something. And... Can you imagine if you got... No, I kind of knew like that was the timeline, and then I tried to play through it for a couple of weeks, and then it never got better. So surgery was the option. Yeah. I feel like we need we owe need you the opportunity to defend TV, though, because Bess did say that we had the they had the dog races here recently, and so he was asked how she'd do, and he just said last. So I feel like you know, I feel like you need that opportunity to defend. I did watch it on the highlights after the game, and Phoebe was still the mascot, so they didn't change that. Anything else, guys? Vance Yes, sir. Yeah, Troy, uh, just a, a quick one. Just uh, obviously the starts have been a, a big issue here these last several games. Just what, what do you see that's happening uh, early in games? and what, what do you need to do better? Just be prepared to play, like as simple as it sounds. Um, you're not really setting yourself up for success when you blink and it's three nothing. Uh, you're always playing catch up and you might let your game after, but there's obviously some de desperation that comes involved with that. And uh, you kind of get the other team on their heels. So just trying to reverse that whole act, maybe trying to play with the lead. And um, I don't really know anything specific on why it's happening, but uh, obviously it's something we, we don't want and something we don't like doing. So. Um, Every night's a new night to, you know, trying to turn the page. Thanks, Troy. All right, that's it for us this morning. Thanks, everyone.